Michael, why do you think your uncle invited us over to his house for this big Christmas dinner? Probably because he wants to discuss great books with intellectuals like me. Hardy har har, David. This one's idea of serious reading is TV guy. Lay off him, Michael. Ow. Hey, stay out of it. I can handle this myself. Ow, you guys, stop. I can do this alone. It's the butler, isn't it? Hi, I'm Michael. Of course, you're General Thornbush's nephew. <laughs> And you two must be David and Michael. Oh, yeah. Oh, little doggy. Oh, give it to me now. Give it to me now. I'm Jarvis, the butler. Jarvis, I just have one small question. Let's say I wanted to play some hockey. Do you think I could borrow that huge giant hockey stick you have shoved up your ass? Just let me know an hour ahead of time. Uncle Thornbush. Woo! Welcome to my house, Michael. This is Lady Richington, my jealous wife, and Major Gentry, my bitter military rival. <laughs> and you gentlemen are? We're just these dudes trying to get our schwer born. You hear that? These guys have genius bits. <gasps> He's dead. Now, Mr. Black, at the time of the General's murder, can you vouch for your whereabouts? I don't know, you big dicky. Can I? Mr. Showalter, what were you doing at the time of... Oh my god. Are you okay? Do you miss your husband? Yes. I loved him so. I feel your pain. <laughs> I was doing Clinton. I do Bill Clinton as an imitation. <laughs> anyway, what, you were saying something about your husband, I think. Yes, yeah. my husband. I love him so much. Oh, be just fine. Okay. Now then, Major Gentry, you and the General were bitter military rivals, were you not? Well, we vied for the same position from time to time, but I don't see what that has Lucky anything to- Lucky Chuck! Point at the head, look. <clears throat> no more bullets. It's lucky. I almost got shot. He's dead. <gasps> a smelly fish. And it's not a card. <laughs> I just said that for the halibut. I had a better joke, but I lobster. <laughs> He's dead. Without Inspector Manning's help, the murderer's true identity will remain a mystery forever. Not so fast, Jarvis. You see, I've known who the criminal was all along. And if you'll indulge the cliché, the butler did it. Holmes, how, how could you possibly have known that the butler did it when he was uh, standing here the whole time? Tell us already. It was simple, really. You see, every criminal has one fatal flaw. And in Jarvis's case, it was his undoing. Good work, Mackle. We've been stumped by this case for months. Have you ever considered becoming a detective? Thanks, but no thanks, Inspector. I just found out that all my muscles and bones are deteriorating, and those two women are going to take care of me. Got it. How about you two? The force could use talent like yours, what do you say? We just have one question, Inspector. What time do we show up? 